A leading humanitarian group says the mental health of detainees on Nauru is similar to that of torture victims. MSF, or Doctors Without Borders, today released a report on its 11 months on the island, saying almost one third of asylum seekers and refugees it treated had attempted suicide. It comes amid a crossbench push to put to bring asylum seekers to Australia for urgent medical treatment, Elise Scott reports. Two months after MSF was forced out of Nauru with 24 hours notice comes this assessment. The mental health situation and suffering is amongst the most severe that MSF has seen around the world, including in projects providing care for victims of torture. Over 11 months, MSF treated 285 patients on Nauru and found they rated at the bottom end of its mental health assessment scale. The group says 30% of asylum seeker and refugee patients had attempted suicide, some as young as nine. Patients reported the lack of control over their own future as among the main stresses in their lives. This is unacceptable, inhumane, and frankly, dangerous. A dozen patients, mostly children, were diagnosed with resignation syndrome. A form of depression so severe that they withdrew from life and entered a semi-comatose state. Among those treated were Nauruan nationals, whose mental health was found to be slightly worse than refugees and asylum seekers. The Nauruan health system is ill-equipped to manage the current mental health crisis on the island. But the Australian government insists no refugee or asylum seeker is denied health care and medical transfers are considered on a case-by-case -case basis. The Department of Home Affairs says there is approximately one mental health professional to every 17 refugees, asylum seekers and non-refugees on the island. As MSF call for an immediate end to offshore detention, another doctor isn't going quite that far. Instead, Karen Phelps wants to force the temporary transfer of a refugee or asylum seeker to Australia for medical treatment if two treating doctors agree it's necessary. It does not end offshore detention. It does not contradict either of the major parties' stated policies on offshore detention. It simply ensures doctors' orders are followed. It's not yet clear whether that argument will sway either the government or the opposition to support the bill. Elise Scott, ABC News, Canberra.